There's no blade in my cutter. What the fuck? This is a good start. This is a great start. Uh, well, I need to go fetch the blade. Well, it's there. Hey, it's an unboxing. I've never do and I've never did one a, a real one before. This is my first real live unboxing. Oh shit, there's my address on the thing. Gotta remove it first. That's just the beginning. Okay, so I need to put these in order. Um, first, remove all that plastic shit. I will not be needing this. There's a lot of people watching, nice. Oh, we'll be needing this part. Okay, so. Hmm. Here for the moment. I will not be needing this for the moment. Or this, or that. That's the. That's the useless shit I don't need.
this. This will not be useful. This is yes. This is no. So This is very important because it's the bottom of the cage. So it's going to support everything. And this is the basement. Just going to read the comments. See if there's some uh, stuff that needs to be answered. Um, oh, a lot of comments. Lots of lo oh shit! You guys typed a shitload of comments. Damn. Uh, uh huh. Stay hydrated. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, the cage was 200 euros. Uh, by the way, if you want to contribute via Ko-fi or Patreon, it will it would be very much appreciated. Um, get the forbidden snacks. Mm. The forbidden nut! The forbidden trail mix. Okay, so I'll be needing those very soon. for 
let me remove my pomadre because <laughs> you never know Uh, yeah, I would put some music on, but there are two problems. Uh, first is that the Facebook copyright algorithm is like worse than the one on YouTube. Like I would, my video would get taken down in 30 seconds. And also it's, it's night. I don't want to make too much noise for the neighbors, you know. the middle of summer break but still okay so those are the doors quite important but I'm not sure I'll be able to finish it tonight because uh, I remember last time it took a long time to uh, put the whole thing together. Like, I think it took me five hours, but that's because I did it wrong. So I had to dismantle everything and then I did it wrong again. So basically I, I, I did a whole building three times. So if I do it right, it should take about one hour and a half. I suppose. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna turn this. There's some shit making a weird noise in the courtyard, like a creaky noise. It's quite. It's kind of creepy. Just a, a window or a shutter. Oh, it's still fucking weird. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> okay, so here's door number one. Okay, door number one. 
Oh, I hate this shit. There's these little white dots everywhere. Such a pain to clean. Is there they stick to everything? Should be banned. Yo, thanks Nathan. Thanks, my man. Oh, and that is the bottom of the first floor. Okay. Hey, and here are some free hammocks. So that's always nice when the the companies had a little something more, you know. Like that one time, I bought a guitar and they uh, gave me the the a strap for free. That was pretty cool. I like when uh, when they do when they do that. Like when you buy a phone and there's like a pair of headphones in the box, stuff like that. I always appreciate this kind of uh, little attention. That for me can make a big difference. I know that it's just a marketing thing, but it kind of makes you feel like they care. And sometimes they actually do. Can I lock myself in the cage? Uh, yes, uh, but no, because I would absolutely destroy it. It's not meant for um, a 200 pound asshole. It's actually quite frail. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's good for a small thing like a rat. It, it could, you could go up to um, a ferret or a chinchilla, I suppose, but uh, it's not made to uh, have anything that is more than five pounds, and I weigh 200, so that's quite a lot more. So yeah, I would absolutely rip out the bottom, like I always do. <clears throat> oh, great, more fucking polystyrene. Bullshit. <laughs> you have weird fantasies, my man. But I respect that. We all have some. Here's what I was looking for. <sighs> it's all on one page. The, the, the drawings are tiny as fuck. You can see nothing useful. Um, this is one of the worst building instructions I ever saw. It is hell. Hell on an A4 page. <sighs> well, you know, I went through this once, so um, I can do it a second time. Uh, thanks, Steve. I appreciate the appreciation. Actually, I have no idea where, how it's framed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my ass. If this was Twitch, I, I would be banned. But, uh, uh, since this is Facebook and you can live stream really anything, uh, it's uh, the brand is Zolia. And the name, the model is the funny ferret. Um, it was made for ferrets originally, but then they did a redesign where the bars are closer, so um, it's uh, it's a good size for rats. Uh, the original had the bars that were much wider, so rats could fit through and escape. But this one is uh, has the right um, half about half an inch. Which is just right for rats. Uh, cheeky. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
Zolia, it's a French brand or, or Belgian. I mean, uh, it's uh, from, from here. So I doubt that it will be uh, available abroad. But it's, uh, it's kind of a ripoff of um, a very famous one. Um, shit, what's the name? Um, not Creature Nation, because they don't exist here, but uh, the one that's the... Oh, say Savik. Savik, uh, which is like the leading brand of uh, rat cages. Of cages, not just rat cages. They also make ferret cages, chinchilla cages, squirrel cages, etc. Uh, Savik is a big, big brand of uh, an animal pet stuff in Europe. They, they make everything. They make like uh, things uh, for hens and chickens. They make aquariums and um, leashes for dogs, collars, you know, all the, all the animal stuff. So uh, I think they're based in Germany. Savik. Savik. I have no idea actually, but uh, yeah, they're a big, big brand. And a lot. A lot of my rat stuff comes from their factories. Um, there's another one which is based in Belgium, which makes a lot of accessories like hammocks, the, the little bottles, and uh, the Sputnik. Um, Sputnik is that kind of um, this kind of rat house. It looks like the a Russian satellite Sputnik, they make hammocks also, and they make the bottles. So uh, it, they're called, they're from Belgium, they, they're called, uh, I forgot the name. But uh, they're pretty famous, so if you're in Europe and have uh, pet stuff, you've probably uh, heard about them and have some of their products in your house. Um, anyway. That's the last piece. Oh, that's an important piece. Because that's the that's the bottom, right? Or is that the top? Shit, what is this piece? Well, it's time to um, look at the fucking uh, paper. First, I'm going to remove all the cardboard bullshit that's in the way. Try to not make anything fall. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a weight, so uh, it keeps the things in place because I can see that it's already wanting to fall. should be enough. So, it starts now. Uh, that's not a great angle. Maybe it's better like this. Yes. Uh, I'm having stretch marks on my bicep because I've been working out so, so hard. These are not cuts, these are stretch marks from the inside. Been spending a lot of time at the gym lately. So, here's the thing. Here's the fuck. So, so, so. What do I need to do first? Step one. Connect F and G to two of H 
Thoreau inserting 4 of N and screw up with 4 of Q on top hole position and then screw up with 4 of R on under holes as drawing shown. Whew! Ah. F and G. Okay, F and G, I see what they are. H, I see what they are, they're right here. Ah, damn. So what, what's, Q, what's, what's Q? Nut! Q is a nut! So, it should be in there. Uh, first of all, oh. That's the little... I don't know how to say this in English. But, uh... That one. Those are the wheels. So I'm going to get them out of the way for now. There should be four. Wrench. Okay. Spanner. Oh, so there are two words now. That's a spanner. Okay, so, uh, so we have one wrench, two spanners. Keep voting. Or a wrench. Okay, so, okay. Two synonyms, I see. So there's a fucking mess of nuts and bolts and screws and whatever. And I, I, I gotta figure out which are which. I mean, I understand that Q is a nut. I don't even see nuts. I'm gonna put them on the floor. At this point, why not? I'm way past carrying. Here's a nut! Where's the fucking. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know what a nut is like. Autofocus. Not great job. But it's the front camera, so that's uh, probably why. So, how many nuts do I have? <laughs> God, I'm so retarded. I'm, I'm laughing at the word nut. How many, how many nuts do I have? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gonna be legit retarded. Did I take my meds? Yes. Ah. So... Uh, I got four nuts. <laughs> I got four nuts. <laughs> they here. Um, Then, that's Q. Um, and the screw I need is N. So there are several types of screws. I gotta, I gotta figure out which are which. The type N has a 6 millimeter diameter and 38 millimeter length. They all have a six diameter millimeter, so I don't know what, why they said the diameter. So, N is 38, R 30, and S 25. So basically I need the longest one. And here's a, I don't know what's the name in English either, but I got this. We, uh, Allen key, we call this. The Allen key. So it must be an Allen wrench or Allen spanner because Allen is the name of the dude who invented it. So uh, I suppose his name is on all, all languages the same. Allen wrench. See, I figured it out. 
That's what's cool about being fluent in a foreign language. You can guess and guess right. You don't have to know everything. That's an Allen key. Oh, yeah. So these, these screws look all the same length. That's... Uh... Oh, it's uh, it's in the the thing is in English. I didn't even realize this is called a wrench in the blurb, and this is called a hexagon wrench. Which uh, maybe they couldn't license the name Alan. Maybe the name Alan is trademarked, like Harry Potter or Mickey Mouse. I don't fucking know. That's weird. Uh, the, the screws are. Uh, all the same length as an... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, which ones are the longest? Because I, I found the shorts. There's one. Maybe you could... I don't even know the, 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 the numbers. Like, how, how many screws are there? I can see two short ones. I'm gonna... Knowing everything is for squares anyway. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the screws... Like this, on the floor. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see now. I see there are three different lengths. So I need four of the longest ones. I found three. Okay, th those are the medium. So they're the R screws. Probably the most numerous I see. I haven't really started yet, and I, already I want to take a break. <laughs> Fucking hate this. Hey, I found the fourth one. So I got the... I found the long screws. <coughs> Just killed an insect. Um, I got my nuts. I'm gonna put them here and we will start to build. Just wanna make sure that the other screws are. Um, they're all the same height. Yep. Yeah, okay, so there are only four big ones. There's a shitload of medium ones. And only two small ones, which I'm gonna put in a corner so I don't... Um, here it's perfect. And uh, the medium ones, I'm gonna put them in the box. Great, great, great. Uh, so, <sighs> what did it say? Connect F and G to two of H through inserting four of N and screw up with four of Q on top hole position and then screw up with four of R on under holes as drawing shown. 
it's just fucking broken English, probably translated from. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Why is it in English? It's a French company. Why did they say send me a thing in English? This makes no fucking sense. The, the, the thing is in. The thing is in French. On the. The, on the, the, the box? I, I don't understand. It's a mix of French and English. That's fucking weird. I, I'll investigate that later or probably I'll forget about it because I don't give a shit. Oh yeah, it's obviously badly translated. Uh, R are the medium screws. Okay, so I'm gonna need four, but not right now. Right now I need to uh, connect G and F through H using Q and N. <sighs> This feels like math, but not the fun kind. <sighs> so, this is H1. So, um, let's start. I suppose how oh Let's see. okay so the hole is here so I should start with G but then R must oh I see Okay. Oh, holy shit. So that should be the F. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's F. So G should be the, this one. I suppose. That should be G. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna start by putting the N screws in the G holes into the first H. <sighs> what um, then I then I nut right from the inside okay that came out wrong but uh, somehow I I know what I'm doing so the G holes are here the end screws are here I'm gonna put the end screws inside the G holes and then insert the first H and then nut from the inside. Here are my nuts. Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense because I. Sh oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah. So can I f first install? Um. 
And I'm not sure which, what is the best. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta do shit, see what works, what doesn't. And if it's wrong, you can always start from scratch. Hey, Susu, Sublaki. Sublaki. Where's my nuts? Oh, here's the nuts. Where's the wrench? Here's my wrench. I wrench in the nut! New Desperate song. Okay, that's good for a start. I'll finish screwing um, later. Now I'm gonna put the second H. Uh, inside on top of the end screw, assemble the nut and then put the F part on top. That is not the most fun live stream I've ever done, but let's just roll with it. The thing is that is annoying with the new uh, live stream Facebook interface is that I cannot, there's no time. There used to be a, a, a counter that sh that showed you what time had elapsed since the beginning of the live stream. No, it's just not there. And uh, I don't know why it made sense to have it there for me. I don't know why they removed it. I don't see a good reason. So yeah, let's remove the one useful feature, but uh, let's add a shitload of cat filters and shit that nobody cares about, because that's important. I don't know, I guess I'm just getting old. So, which, uh, which side, oh, does it have sides? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's get the F. Oh yeah, it has sides. It's the G that doesn't, but the F has uh, one. It's not really important though, but let's still try to do it right. Let's try to do the cooking by the book. See, here is the thing I have, I hadn't really thought about that is the ca if the camera is close to me you cannot see everything that's going on but if it's far away I cannot read your comments okay one last nut If I can move this a little further away. Yeah, it's not much, it's not much better. Anyway, let's uh, bolt these nuts. Branch that shit up. So, 
this one is done. But the amount of usable viewing angles will be pretty, pretty small. Does this work? No, nothing works. It's that kind of day. Horse falling downstairs. What? Is that a setup for a joke? Or is this just like a, a genuine question? Remember the name of the screws. I'm already in too deep with this bullshit. Oh, well, I suppose all cages around the world look kind of the same. Maybe it's the same, uh, maybe it's just like one big factory that uh, makes all of them and then they're branded like uh, Critter Nation in the USA, here it's like Zolia and Savic, etc, etc, probably in Australia they have a different thing. Okay, so this is crude. And where's the, oh yeah. But yeah, there, there's a surprisingly small amount of cages that really work for rats. Like it's always the hamsters that get all the cool stuff. Never understood why hamsters are so popular. I mean, I suppose they're cute, but they're also nocturnal, aggressive, not very cuddly. It's weird. But yeah, if you want a cage for a hamster or a ferret, you have tens and thousands of options. Maybe not, maybe not thousands, but a few dozens. Even chinchillas have more stuff available. I mean, it could be worse. It's not the least liked rodent, but it's surprising because rats are quite popular. Every time I, I, I go to the pet store, they tell me that rats are like uh, selling like hotcakes and people buy them all the time. And they're not feeder rats, you know, they're pets. So, um, but yeah, it's hard to find a good cage or a good anything. Uh, 10 years ago when I started having rats, even finding proper food was difficult. Now there are a lot more options, but uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's still a struggle. Some have it worse though, like squirrels. I think that's, but squirrels are rare here. What, what, what other rodents are there that you can have as pets? Oh, porcupines. I've never seen any porcupine products. But I assume that if you're the kind of person who takes a porcupine as a pet, you know what you're doing. <laughs> At least, let's hope so. person who would have a porcupine as a pet is probably the same kind of person who would build everything from scratch using blueprints that they make themselves. and uh, nuts. A little, a little tighter. The nut needs to be tight. Not too tight. Because it's, there are no moving parts, so there's no point in uh, Making the thing like really tightly interlocked. Um, I mean, there are moving parts, technically, which I'm going to install right now. One. Fucking plastic bullshit. <sighs> Hate plastic. <sighs> if there's one thing I could get rid of, if I, I could get the world rid of, you know, if I had one of these, um, these genies out of a lamp and they ask me, we, I can delete one thing from the world. Most people would say wasps or mosquitoes, stuff like that. And I would say plastic. Fuck plastic. Absolutely fucking worthless. And it's, it's, except for clothes, I suppose. Polyester clothes are the best option most of the time. Especially since, especially when you see all the bullshit that is happening with the cultivation of cotton. And it's getting worse and worse. It's, uh, it's wasting so much water. I think production of cotton, cotton is number one reason for uh, deforestation in the world that's uh that's a, a large-scale tragedy it's always been a always been a big trashy thing or we could wear silk it's not vegan but Compared to cotton, it is really, really a better option. Or what else is there? There are fibers made from hemp. 
I think they're um I think they are um how do you say anti allergenic like hemp prevents allergies that that can come um from other plants they're also easier to clean they're also um lin lin linen linseed but it's not very comfortable I'd rather be wearing fucking spandex rather than fucking linen clothes. Anyway. But, uh, step two. Screw C and D to two of Y with four of R on bottom hole. Um, okay. So. Hypoallergenic, yep. Yeah, I think hemp fabric is hypoallergenic. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I, I, I really think I, I recall that uh, hemp is uh, hypoallergenic. Um, so... Yeah, that's the mistake I did last time, and I really do not want to do again. As that is confusing C with B. Because there are two. This is what big performance looks like. <laughs> uh, so, what is this? <sighs> That's that should be why. But, but I remember the, the big difference between C and D. But you can't see it un, 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 until it's too late. Basically. Uh, so that's why. So I'm gonna need why pretty soon. Okay, here. What is this? Um, that should be D. First, I, I really gotta make sure that. Uh, yeah, that's not... Ah, uh, what is this? That's not D? Or is it? Because these have the little things to connect. Ah, shit. This is happening again. Oh no! The holes go into the Y part, right? But no, that should be on the side, not on the... Ah! Wait, which holes are the... What even is this? This doesn't make sense. This piece doesn't correspond to anything that is on the fucking paper. Okay, so, okay. So, X has a hole on top. Y does not. That's how you know the difference. I don't... Oh, I know what is this. It's the top. It's the ceiling. That's why... Because I'm looking at the instructions for the bottom part. That's why it's not there. It has to be the ceiling. Okay, things are starting to make sense again. So, the difference between X and Y is that X has a hole on top. Y does not have a hole. And 
this this should be this should be a because it has the little things that insert in the holes and um, that's but there's no holes on top so that makes sense that would be the up side <laughs> I knew a dude who, who, who did this as a, um, as a job. Um, I mean, he was an um, office furniture builder. You know, a lot of times when a company moves into a new office, they order a lot of furniture. And uh, it's, like, uh, it's like this, you know, like the IKEA stuff. I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, it's, uh, you got to assemble it. So someone has to do this, and it's not the office employees that are going to do it. So there are people who are literally um, office furniture builders who come before the employees start working in the new uh, in the new office, and they, they build all the furniture, the desks, the the cupboards, uh, all that shit, tables and whatnot, and. Uh, I almost uh, did that job for a while, but um, apparently people doing this are fucked up like all the time. Like they they take a lot of uh, they drink beer like all morning, and then to avoid being too drunk and falling asleep, they take amphetamines all afternoon. So it's it's basically. That's their diet. Beer, 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 and then a shitload of amphetamines. And it's like that every day. I mean, of course you don't have to do it, but you know, it's always better to fit in. And, like it sounds fun, if you do it for a couple of days, but you know, there are dudes who work there. Ha! Huh. There was a dude who uh, who looked like he was like 55. Actually, he was 29. That shit will age you so fucking fast. So this should be the top. No. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. This should be the top because it has no holes on top. Right? Wrong. This is the bottom because it has the thing little flappy thing um because the other one because the holes go up no the whole the holes go no these go down these go down into what these are If only there was a, a little drawing of uh, how to differentiate the D from the A and the C from the B. But yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure this is A. I mean B. So this should be D. But it doesn't have holes. Or is it like... Are the holes... Supposed to go up? Because, that, yeah, that would make more sense. I don't even know where the X thing is. And I have only one Y. I should have two of them. 
<laughs> Thanks, Tatum. And uh, also, I'm sorry. Also, I've been streaming for over an hour? Holy shit. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? <sighs> anyway, this is gonna be the big reveal, because that's the... <clears throat> Not this. Who the fuck is eating my shirt? Souvlaki. <sighs> Because this is like the door that's supposed to be on the bottom. So, how does it open? Does it open like this? No, it's, it's like this. So, the hole is... Nah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Fortunately, Fortunately, I have one already assembled, so I'm gonna check the shenanigans. Ugh. So, where is supposed to be the little thing? Because this, this is like this way. I'm gonna put you away for, for a while. Not too far, of course. <sighs> I'm trying to solve this riddle. So this is the X part. You can tell because it has a hole in the middle. Um, does it have the little things? No, it does not. This is the... A part. Oh, or no, it's B. Yeah, it's B. Uh, so, the B part has a thing. Uh, because how do I know? Oh. This is that. Okay. That's the thing I removed. So this is, should be the B part. Because of course, there's no... But then, how the, the insertion is possible? Oh, I, gotta, gotta, I gotta get the other door. Also has a thing, but it's on the bottom. So this little whole thing is on the bottom. So these, there's no hole here. So it looks backwards, but that's that's um, definitely C. Okay. I've solved it. I've uh, solved the riddle. So, um, so that's the. I'm gonna remove the little flappy thing right now. Y 
because it doesn't have a hole. These instructions are not very clear, but that's the kind of shit that you need experience. It's like Dark Souls. This is like the Dark Souls of uh, furniture. Like literally, if you had seen me the first time around where I thought I had it figured out, but then I had to dismantle everything two or three times and it took me five hours and a half and it was a, a nightmare this shit sometimes people overuse the Dark Souls metaphor but this this is the Dark Souls of building furniture shit Stay hydrated. <coughs> so, what? Um, there's the Y. There's the C. I suppose I put them backwards. Um, where's the C? There it is. Okay, so, so these little things are supposed to be up, and so the Y part goes into, oh shit, it's damaged, that's fine, uh, I'll have to take care of it, just a little bent wire. Maybe I bent it myself. Not not sure. Or is it stupid zip ties that they used? Stupid fucking zip ties that were too tight, and it, it bent some of the wire. That's dumb. I have to tell them about this. Um, so let's see. So the little screws go in there. Uh, no, that the medium screws. The medium screws go in there towards the Y part, so I have to, uh, I know I cannot do it backwards, so I have to put this one, um, what's the best, what's the best course of action, the best course of action would be to uh, have someone to help me, this is obviously not meant to be assembled by one person, <sighs> but uh, you know, I'm not gonna call one of my friends, it's fucking, it's, it's gotta be like 1 a.m. <laughs> Don't even know what time it is. I started building, I think it was like 11 p.m. Um, yeah. So I'm glad I worked out before, because I would never, never be able to go to the gym after doing this. Not physically, but mentally fucking draining. It's not really hard, and these things are obviously not heavy, but it's really taxing on, on the, you know, it's requiring all the motivation and focus I am capable of. All right. I, would have, I would have none of it after that. So. I'm gonna put it backwards. <sighs> but that won't make the screwing really easier because um, there's a little, this little difference in height that will make things difficult. <clears throat> but hey! I'm like 10 times stronger than last time I assembled this shit, so at least these uh, 
these, all these gym sessions are paying off a little. Um, so I can hold it in place much better. They have better mobility, better control of my hands and my arms, my posture in general. So that's why I would never stop going to the gym, because it has so many benefits in everyday life. It never really stops being useful. It's not just that I have more energy and sleep better, stuff like that, which is already huge, but it's making my daily life so much easier. <sighs> and it's like, it's pretty cool feeling, feeling better in control of your body. feeling that I am actually in charge. Well, I'm not just some fucking meat prison pushing me around. Now what I need uh, is a fucking nap. Now what I need is um, D, so that should be D, right? No, that's not D because it doesn't have the things. So that's gotta be A. But what I need is D. So D should be... Oh, I see it. I'll have to clean it real good before I put the rats inside. Sides. This doesn't really matter. Okay. <clears throat> so should be shit. Should be like this. I gotta remember that I'm building backwards. It's like upside down. So the holes should be in on the inside. This is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. This should be like that. I'm gonna put this a little further away. Screws, wrench, plastic bullshit. Another wrench. And more screws. This is exceptionally smooth compared to uh, last time.
Can this be a little further away? So people can see what's happening? People, people need to know. People need to see what's going on. Yeah, that's probably as... Oh no, can go further. Okay. So. Um, yeah, well, it's not exactly. It doesn't look great, but it looks good enough. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. I need another screw. I need another fucking drink. This is your new home, ladies. Or actually, this is a bit of boys in your home. Oh no. Uh, anyway, um, so let's look at the instructions. I'm not gonna call this a manual. It would be giving it way too much credit. So I, I did screw the bottom hole, but screwing the top hole must plate, I suppose. Okay, I'm not gonna do this part because I don't give a shit. But this oh, there are still there are still five people hanging on. In the live stream, <laughs> um, I don't even know how, for how long I've been streaming. For now, maybe you guys see the little clock, but I can't. I cannot see it. So, um, yeah. Oh, there's sudden surge of audience. Eight people, nine people are watching now. Incredible! I've never seen this before. And uh, that's. Uh, you're in for a disappointment, fellas. Uh, or not. Because I don't know what you are into. About an hour and a half now. Holy moly. So, this is the, the, the part that is complicated. Screw C and D to two of Y with four of R on bottom hole. I've just done this. Okay? Step three. Insert panel A and B into the hole of C and D. Screw them together with four of R. Then connect two of X to A and B and screw up by four of R. So does this mean that the... Something's gonna happen with the screws? And that's why I don't... This doesn't make sense. There's something missing. There's something that just doesn't add up. I think there's a step missing. If I'm right, 
there should be 12 more screws in the box. I'm right. Uh, they forgot us. They forgot a step. It's literally, it's not here. Wow. Okay. They really fucking did this. There's a step missing between here and there. Step one, step two, and then there are four, four holes and screws that are not accounted for. Told you this is the Dark Souls of furniture building. Not kidding. There's even the lore is incomplete, and you gotta sift through and uh, figure it out by counting the number of fucking screws that are in the box. It's crazy. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna put this on the the vat. I know I'm not supposed to do it, but their instructions are their instructions are shit anyway. So um, and then I'm gonna clean this shit because it's extremely dusty. I'm gonna put it on the floor so it doesn't fall. Okay. This is the upper floor. So I'm gonna screw it later. First, now I'm gonna put this so it's upside down so I can put it better. The right uh, position. And. Oh, this is also... Shit. Okay. So this is backwards. I'm gonna put it forwards now. Okay, so this is forwards now. And uh, the door should be here. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly good, but it's much better than five minutes ago. Uh, I'm gonna move you people. Sorry, but I'm gonna need a little more space right now. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate the support and uh... <sighs> this is a choose your own adventure step. <laughs> yeah, Tatum, you're right. Um... If this falls, I'm a thousand euros in debt, because this phone ain't mine. <sighs> Julia, I got, a, I got a lot of faith in the durability of Samsung's stuff, and... Um, Let's not push our leg, though. It's better like that. Um, wait. I don't, I don't know if it's good viewing angle or what. But I'm gonna screw some screws now. It's screwing time. Yeah, this is a little too high up. Oh, I know. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it there. Mm. 
see that? It kind of works. It's not great. It's not terrible. 3.6 out of 10. 3.6 out of 5. <clears throat> getting more screws. Actually, I only need to get one at a time because I only have two hands so far. See me or am I behind the pillar? I'm behind the fucking pillar, right? Well, I'm sorry. But um, my space is not modular enough. Oh, I understand why this doesn't work. Okay. Because it's not... Uh, This should be much better now. Yeah, I, I suppose. Thanks, Tatum. Thanks a lot. Subverted. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good that's a good angle. That works. Thanks, Cody. Yeah, I believe that's good. Uh, the D hole is not in front of the Y hole.
what's wrong with this hole because the screws will just not get in you think it's bent sitting at an odd angle What's, what's wrong? It looks right. It looks fine. Should be higher up. No, probably not. I'm gonna try it. There's nothing else I've got. It should fit. Should fit. Somehow it does not. I, I think it works. I think it worked. So it's going to be a matter of angle. Yeah. So I just had to punch it. Good. Fisting <sighs> often solves a lot of problems. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do now is, oh, maybe put it a little more higher up.
I'm going to clean the bottom drawer. Uh, this should be the other way around. Doesn't really matter, but it's better to visualize things when everything is in its right place. The bottom drawer is here and it's really dusty, so I'm going to clean it. Sorry, that's not that's even less entertaining than what, that, than what has, I've been doing so far. But uh, should be uh, should be fast. <sighs> There's these little wet wipes with, ble with bleach on it. <sighs> Don't use them to clean yourself, or you're in for a serious surprise. this often okay so now I just have two Paper towels. Just have to remove the excess bleach. So that the stupid fucking rats don't leak it. It's not really bleach, it's more like antibacterial, so it's fine for rats. There's a little alcohol in it, but you know, they metabolize it just like we do. So. Can you can you get drunk off hand sanitizer? Don't think so. I bet at least one of you. Like, there's only 10 people watching right now, and I bet at least one of you has tried getting drunk off hand sanitizer. Am I right or am I right? Toujours pas fini, bah non. C'est long, hein? C'est une sacrée merde, ce truc. So, this is not. Uh... In terms of bilateral symmetry, this has none. There's not a, a front and a back. Just want to make sure. Good. I'm going to clean my arms because that's uh, that warehouse dust. even know where warehouse dust comes from but I used to be a warehouse man for for a, two years and I'm like when the trucks come in with the merchandise it's already there I don't know wh where it really comes from from factories or I, I don't I don't know but at some point it was a, it was a warehouse man in a grocery store so uh what we got in was like boxes of cereal and shit like that, Pepsi and whatever. So, how does this get dust from from from, from where? Because when the, when the trucks come in with the merchandise and they unpack it, it's already like covered with this thick black dust. Then it gets fucking everywhere. When you work in a factory, you gotta clean your hands like 50, 50 times a day. It's worse than if you were a doctor or a cook or a I don't know. Anyway.
Well, while I'm at it, I'm gonna put some bedding inside. So that's the X1 and X2. Uh. That's the ceiling. So I'll need it only at the end. And for now, uh, I'm going to drizzle. Shives. I'm gonna do this so the dust goes away. <sighs> Smells good. Yeah, this should be enough. So, I think that what would be logical would be to install the X now. Where's the fucking... No, I'm gonna start by A and B. Uh, I put X later because these uh, go inside A and B. So B is the one with the door, and A is the one from behind. I'm gonna start from behind. Um, so I'm gonna need my Allen wrench. And a couple of screws. If I'm not too stupid, I keep the wrench in my pocket so I don't misplace it. Nope. I am still stupid and retarded. This doesn't change. So where is my wrench now? I mean, I have some spare ones, but it's like in the bottom of my toolbox. <sighs> okay, I gotta find my wrench now. Fucking hell. <sighs> B 
need to put it on the floor. Now, did I put it on this chair? Yes, okay. So let's start with A and then B and then X. And the ceiling goes at the last minute, I suppose. In the last minute. In the end. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh, see, so this is really fucking bad. This is really damaged. Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, oh. I gotta fix this. Because the hole is not gonna get inside the, uh, the tip is not gonna get inside the hole that is so damaged. It's fucking ruined. What could I use? I don't even know where my tools are. Because uh, I just moved all, around all my furniture. So. That's a long nail. Could do the trick, maybe. Oh, perfect. This is just right. Also, I gotta remember to. Someone posted a comment seeing your rats so interested in what you're doing and me miss mine. Yeah, they're really they're really curious and uh, interactive and uh, they always want to see what you're doing. That's uh, that's pretty cool. They're never ignoring you. In the beginning, I always had the, the feeling that I was being observed. And uh, it took me a while to adjust, but uh, now I, if they're not watching me, I, I miss it. This must be what it feels like to be a cam girl. I mean, doubly so, because you guys are watching me live streaming, and those guys are watching me 24 hours, 7 days a week. I mean, I'm not in front of their cage 24 hours, 7 days a week, but... The other day I had the cage in my bedroom because I was doing some uh, fumigation against insects and um, I bet they watched me sleep. I mean, it's not going to be too weird for them because they sleep as well. This one is bent. Can I unbend it without a hammer? So, so, I should do the trick. Ah, great, it works. This is going so much better than the first time. Just like Dark Souls, you gotta learn. Through, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh shit. That's gonna be a little difficult. Cause I gotta put first A and B and then X and everything has to stay together when I'm putting the screws. Oh, so this is not going so well after all. Shit. Um. Okay, so.
Okay. So A and B are in. Now X. Yeah, but I, I can put one X at a time. So that's gonna that's gonna be easier, I suppose. Can I put the screws like half in and then push them at the last moment? Or will they fold? They won't fold. That's good. Other screw. Okay, it's a little too far in. Ah, oh, shit. Good, 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 good. Okay, now. Let's get the X. Here's the X one. The hole must be on top. So, X one, hole on top. Screws and once again we're too close to the action, so you guys need to go further away because you're not seeing enough stuff. Yes, good angle. Good and nice. So you can see cage number two is taking form. This is cage number one. Um. I'm gonna put you guys a little further away. this here so people can see better but first screws but I believe it is doable. Thanks, Isabel.
we got one screw in only 10 left no not 10 9 no 11 forgot how to count 9 I got 9 screws left to screw I'm sweaty so the wrench keeps uh, falling out of my fingers. She just slips. But on the upside, only eight screws more. So this is not looking good. This is all bent and shit. It's not looking much better. But, 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 is it working? No. Yes. Okay. If it doesn't fit in, you just force it a little. And usually it goes inside, no problem. You may have to hit it a little or pull on it or push it with your weight down. But there's always a way. And there's a wheel, there's a way. seven screws left and as the great <sighs> as the great spiritual leader Shadman says when there's a hole there's a goal no every every hole is a goal As what does Shadman say again yeah, I think that every hole is a goal, is the thing, so. <sighs> Screw this. I'm being very funny over there and the, there's only 10 people watching. Such a disgrace. At least it will be up for a really long time. I'm going to put that shit on YouTube, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put that on YouTube. <sighs> well, only six screws left. So, uh, we really are getting there. It's really getting serious now. Where is... Here it is. Oh yeah, it's bent. I gotta fix it first. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Isabel. I appreciate your support greatly. Uh, yeah, can you see it's... Uh, you can, it's not really visible on camera, but there's a... It's not very problematic because it's the it's a place where the rats uh, will not be because that will be outside of. But uh, still, you never know because they're so sneaky. I don't want anyone to get a, their paws um, stuck in there. It happened to me once, and. Uh, that did not end well. Uh, 
Oh, wait. There's one that is up and then one, there's one that is down. That's the one that is up. Yeah, so there's like really no chance that they're gonna touch it. Because the hole is on top to fix the ceiling. Oh. Fucking insects. I just blasted so much insecticide in my house. Like I did it yesterday, then I did it today. And like, most of them are dead. I saw a, a lot of insect cadavers around the house. But there are still some that are really, really strong or whatever. See, so yeah, that's the problem. Is that I eliminated all the weakest ones. So I'm doing accelerated Darwinism. That's uh, only the, the strongest ones are alive now so if they reproduce they will they will breed a, a, a fucking race of super insects there will be even more ah. even more resistant that's why they stick around for so long I, That's the fucking accelerated Darwinism. Oh, talking about Darwinus? Darwin? 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 Charles Darwin. Talking about this. Do you know that chimpanzees have entered the Stone Age? Because we tend to forget that evolution is still going on and we're not the only ones so uh yeah chimpanzees just entered the stone age they've all started making stone tools and shit like that they're uh they're next in line for uh sentient species i mean sen not sentient because a lot of animals are sentient dogs are sentient rats are sentient uh, even crows, I think. But uh, what to have, a, to have an abstract consciousness, or I don't, I don't know what the proper term, but you probably guess what I'm talking about. Probably understand what I mean. Only five screws left. Oh no, this one is not totally screwed yet. It is now. This one is like really fucked up. I hope things are gonna be okay. Yeah, it seems it seems it seems okay so far. Four screws left. Three. There, whoa, lemon and a pear.
Okay, only two screws left now. But first, we're gonna put the divider. First, I'm gonna clean the divider and uh, gotta get my sanitizing wipes. Eliminates 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Probably doing the same accelerated Darwinism with the fucking bacteria. Because the 99.9% .9 that dies are the slowest and the weakest. And like the 0.1% that leave are like the, the, the elite, the super bacteria, the, the bacteria chads. Accidentally breeding an army of bacteria chads. That's a thing to think about. There's a lot of antibiotics that are banned now in veterinary medicine or they're like hard to, 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 to get by to and to just have. Uh, even some of the veterinarians can get a hold of them because of the super bugs. So uh, technically the restriction is only for farm animals, not for pets. But in the case of a pet reproducing, like you would have to to get the to get some of the antibiotics, you would have to prove that your that your pet will not have kids, will not reproduce. This is a hard thing to prove. You can you can claim it. You can put a. You can swear an oath of honor, or you could just get them, you know, spayed and neutered. But yeah, if they aren't, you cannot get antibiotics. I mean, not all antibiotics, but the most powerful ones. Which is un just another great argument for spaying and neutering your pets, really. Let the breeders do the breeding, it's a shit job anyway. So let's put more shives and uh, we're almost finished. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Oh, it's 
sword. Ceiling. It's not really a ceiling, but it's not really a roof. It's kind of both. I'm not sure what's the more more appropriate term. Hey, it is kind of a ceiling. It is kind of a roof. Uh, stop fucking beeping, you stupid piece of shit. Anyway. Uh, two more screws, and then we are done. Like a hundred percent done. Both literally and figuratively, I am done. Uh, shit. Oh. Should get a haircut. Should get a, my hair is stuck such a fucking mess. And every day, I take a shower, and I go straight to the gym. Lift some weights, and in the meantime, my hair's like been drying in an absolutely random fashion. I, I never really know what my hair actually looks like because it's uh, it's different every day. I just don't have the energy or the focus to take care of these uh, vain little things at the moment. Recently, my life is work, rats. And lifting weights. That's the three things that are happening. And apart from that, it's pretty. Uh... Well, apart from that, I take a lot of naps, play some video games on my phone. Not even the good ones, just you know, Candy Crush type of shit. And of course, I forget the home improvement. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Of course, the most visible part is the fresh coat of paint, but there's also a lot of a lot of stuff that had to be fixed, like the plumbing, uh, some some small holes in the walls had to be fixed also. Bunch of stuff. Moving furniture all around, trying to uh, do some space optimization. Um, so that was the last screw, I believe. They are all in place now. Oh no, there's one missing. It's in my pocket. Oh shit, my phone is dying. I mean, it's dying. It's not dying, it's just have, has no battery left. Uh, well, I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna have to stop this live stream because my, my phone's battery is, is dying. Um, not cool, but I am finished, so... Like, just in time. Just, just in time. I have like 4% battery left. I'm going to screw the last screw, and then I'm going to say goodbye. It's going in.
Ah. Done. 100% done. So, um, while well, I'm gonna plug uh, my phone, I could plug it here. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm finished. So, I'll do a little video of the the when the rats are inside. Oh shit! That's not what I meant to do. Just flip the camera on me. So, thanks all y'all for watching. I've got a great double cage. One for the boys, one for the girls. So no pregnancy accidents again, because that went old real quick. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all really soon. Subscribe to my Patreon and forget to smash that like. Peace.